Hello, and welcome to the Alpha War Mod for World Conqueror 3. I do apologize for there being no music. Um, the title screen music is a song by The Fat Rat, which I did recognize as soon as I opened this mod, so I already quite like this. But yeah, YouTube will absolutely rate me if I allow that song in my video, so I do apologize for that. Anyway, you can find a link to this mod in the description, and this will be the English version, of course. There is another version, which I'm going to assume is either in Russian, Mongolian, or Chinese. But anyway, let's get into it. I'll start with the HQ, because usually that doesn't have many changes. Excuse me? Lies. I suppose that's who made the mod? I apologize, I don't know the mod maker. But I'll go and assume that's him. I don't... Oh, some of these are new. I don't recognize Alexandria. And that... Wait, that's spot in Germany? Hmm. Oh, lovely. African leader. So you can have... <laughs> you... <laughs> you can have Nazi Einstein, if that's what you want. Oh, Lord Jesus, what the fuck is this mod? Alright, let me go and look. London. Alright, we have more country balls. Lovely. I always love those. Napoleon. Lovely. And more country balls. Let's see, let's see. Bismarck. Car 98k. Her, those are pretty nice. Um, Goof. <laughs> Gustavus Adolphus, if that's what you want. Actually, I might get that. Rommel, that's a plus for me. Alright, and more country balls. For some reason, you can get Switzerland, Norway, Belgium, and Netherlands country balls from this. And Reich. Huh. But I have my heart set on car 98k and Gustav. Uh, I don't believe I looked at Turin yet. Alright, just one country ball, nothing much. Oh, the interesting emoji. Anime girl, easy to... You want your AI to funk up? Get this general. Um, let's take a look. Oh, Kazakhstan! Oh, I'm getting that. Uh, I can't say that last nation. I'm not monetized in the first place, so they'll probably just terminate me. In China. Oh, a tank. That's nice. That's actually good on artillery. I'll go with it. Tokyo. I swear to God. If, if it's here. Alright, cool. I thought it was going to be a nuke. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hill wasn't in this before. Definitely not Fuller. New York. Is Trump going to be here? Come on, he has to be. Are you serious? No Trump? Oh, that was such a missed opportunity. You can get Ma oh, MacArthur. I'm pretty sure that he was in the vanilla game, though. So, A meteor. Nice, nice. Australia. America. Patton. Oh, two, wait, two MacArthur's, and two Patton's, and Grant's, if you would like that. Is the campaign, oh, the campaign was changed, is this the Russian Civil, wait, what? 2045, interesting, in 2045 again, <clears throat> so this is fairly interesting. Because it's not Czechoslovakia, and it's not the USSR, obviously. It's Germany, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, wait. Yes, Slovakia, my bad. Uh, Belarus, Lithuania, Russia, and Ukraine. Alright, this is actually really interesting. It's like a futuristic mod. I did not expect this much. I didn't expect much out of this mod, to be honest. But you have Russia versus the EU, it seems. Uh, Bill Roos is on your side. See how much damage these, these do, shall we? 
Wow, that is actually not that much. Can I find... All right, here we are. Still not that much damage. That's strange. But I guess it does work for this mod. Yeah. Since all the units have that kind of health, it's pretty much the same if you think about it. You know? Let's take a look at Germany real quick. I'm assuming that in this year, the EU. Huh. That is strange. Can I actually look at the description for the... Alright, there we are. Now I can actually read about it. <clears throat> 2045.6 German started... Wait. Germany. My apologies. Or it's not really my fault, but still. Germany started protecting its alliance when Russian launched a surprise attack. Everyone thinks... It is only a war in East Europe, and they believe it is just Russian and German fight for own interest. Okay. So, besides the horrible grammar, but, you know, this was a ported mod to English, so I won't bash it. Ah, oh, God, I can't tell. I won't bash them too much. See, even my English is terrible. So, Russia invades Ukraine, Belarus. Wait, no, well... Belarus is on their side, my apologies. And the Baltics. And Germany went in to fight Russia. I'm fairly confused by this. So it's the EU protecting Europe against Russia and Belarus. And I'm assuming nations such as Kazakhstan will be in on that as well. Let me go and read it from the Russian side. Is it different? Alright. <clears throat> the decline of Russia made the nation develop an idea of strong again. <laughs> and the S is capitalized. It's strong. Jesus Christ. And it made Russia centralized power. This is the fuse of the war. So Russian nationalism caused them to declare... Or on Europe. 10 out of 10 plot. So that's the campaign. I don't think I'll be getting too into that, to be honest. Maybe just for medals. Ooh. Communism. Wait, what? Excuse me. Oh, I was clicking the wrong thing. African CCP. This is 2045. Hmm. So there are some nations that you can click on that you can't play as. Like, I'm clicking on Ethiopia right now, and it's not doing anything. Oh, god damn, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, I guess we're Central Africa now. At least now we have a better look at the neutral nations and such. So, African commies, Algeria, whatever this is. Uh, let's go and take a look at the world. You can play, wait, you can play as Saudi Arabia, but they look neutral. And Yemen as well. Excuse me? That's still not solved. This mod is actually really confusing. There are more cities. I like that. I like seeing more cities. So are the wars separate, then? That would make sense. Let me go and look. Cyprus separated? No, they couldn't do that. It's too small in this game. Let's go ahead and play as... I guess let's pick Saudi Arabia because that appeared neutral last time. So let's go and see if we're at war with Central Africa then. No, there are allies. Alright, this is fairly weird. So you have to actually zoom in to see who you're at war with. I can see how that would get annoying, but oh well. Hmm. Can we pick Germany? Because they, wait, no, we can just go and look. So we're against Germany. We're against Russia. This is a very, very strange war. So I guess we kind of have to. Let's go ahead and pick Germany and see who we're at war with. 
Because I'm assuming we would be fighting against Russia. <clears throat> yes, we are. But we're at war with France, the U.S., and... Hmm. This mod confuses me. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is a cool scenario, and Christ, Kazakhstan is small. That's shameful. It's a very cool mod. I, it, it's an interesting scenario, I'll say that. It just doesn't make the most sense, you know? I suppose in this, it is a bit of a free-for-all for Germany. But you do have... It seems only Italy as an ally. Yes, only Italy. Oh, Ukraine. Alright, so you do have more nations on your side. See, it's harder to tell in this. Alright, 1945. I mean, not 1945. 2045 is a bit of a weird one. Let's go ahead and see 46. Oh, I see. Uh, the mod might not be done yet. I didn't know that. Because... If you think about it, well, you don't really need to think about it. You would have to wait a hell of a long time to unlock 2046 with that clock up there. So I'm assuming that the rest of the years will be added later on. But yeah, this was a fairly interesting mod. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it as a whole. The scenario seems... Strange. Though I do still think I can have fun with this mod. Let's go ahead and see how wars work. How fighting is. And of course we do have to pick Russia. Because I'm assuming that they'll be doing a lot of fighting. At least I think so. You don't start out with any... Wait. I just noticed there aren't any units in Europe. But Central Africa has units. Actually everywhere in Africa has units. Excuse me. So I just don't have units. That's it. Okay, that's cool. Seriously, not nothing. Nothing at all. Nope. Alright, that's cool. Um I suppose let's uh just go and do this real quick. Cause I'm lazy. Let's go and play as the African economies, because they have a lot of weapons. Now let's see how fighting works. See, I noticed that whole list for the nations entering the war, that was smaller than I would have expected for the modern world. But now I see why. Not all nations are involved. Alright, so the animations are the same. But as you can see, the weapons and stuff, they are a lot different. I love that detail. This one has a lot of detail in it, which I love. Well, obviously, but... Hmm. Oh, it actually moves! That is fucking awesome! I love that so much. Come on. Do I have any better units? Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Senior infantry? Wait, excuse me? Uh, maybe we do have to start out with a better nation. Just to see the units, and then I'll go and end it. Let's go and pick France. Why the hell not? Because I know Paris makes anything, so... <clears throat> wow, they do not cost a thing. How much money do cities make? They make a lot. Seems in this conquest it's all about quantity over quality. Or maybe not. Maybe it's because... Alright, I see now. They're cheap because they aren't that good. Duh. I'm stupid. Ignore me. Normal infantry, senior infantry, motorized infantry, and elite infantry division. None of them costing very much. I probably shouldn't have made that unit, should I? Let's go and restart. We still need to look at the rest. So you can see all the factions there. Light panzer, medium panzer, for some reason you can't make medium... Though I don't think that it's a complete mod, so that is understandable. Heavy Panzer and Super Panzer. Howitzer, self-prepared, prepared, self-propelled. Self 
artillery, can't talk, I'm sorry, missile car, bomber, bombers, paratrooper, and str strategy bomber, English, SR, alright, all those are the same, uh, ships, submarine, destroyer, missile cruiser, wait, missile cruiser, is that what these are? No, these are destroyers. What the hell is a missile? Excuse me? I don't believe I follow. Wait, what? A missile cruiser. I need to see this. I want to know what this does. Holy shit, bombers do a lot of damage. Alright, let's go and see what these missile cruisers do. Wait. It doesn't matter. We already have this one, actually. So these are natural miss. Alright, why did I think differently? They're just cannons. Okay, I thought that they carried, like... <laughs> I thought they carried actual missiles. Okay, that's cool. And uh, let me just go ahead and see the music. Probably copyrighted. <clears throat> so that was the Alpha War mod. Once again, I don't think that it's completely done. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. Oh, I should have said this at the beginning. Oh, well. If you don't watch the full video, you don't deserve to know. <laughs> I'll probably post in the comments, don't worry. Um, I did get a warning when I tried to download this. It said something about the mod being too large to scan for viruses. I went ahead and downloaded it anyway because I have viruses from various sources on my phone, so I really couldn't care less. But if you care dearly about your phone and not wanting a virus, just to be safe, maybe don't get this mod because I don't know if it has viruses or not. I mean, Bruminati plays it, so I'm assuming that it's safe. But I'm just telling you ahead of time, alright? It's your own thing, what you want to do with your phone. But anyway, I hope that you all did enjoy, and that you can figure out what the hell is going on in this mod. Once again, I do think that I will play, because it seems interesting. But anyway, I will see all of you next time. Goodbye.